Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jemima and on this channel we share all things about hair and lifestyle. In today's video, I am going to trim my hair because if you've seen any of my previous videos, you would have known that I have experienced some shedding to my hair when I was ill for a period of time, like three days back in June. So when it broke off in June, I found out mid-July, I trimmed then, I trimmed in August, I trimmed in September, and then since September till December, I didn't really do anything. And when I washed my hair in, in December, I did wash my hair in, in October as well, because I had a wedding in October, but I don't remember if I trimmed my hair or not. So between October and December, my hair has just gotten worse detangling is awful it breaks off every time i touch it so it's apparent that the thin ends need to go and with the way that i love my hair it's important for me to actually enjoy caring for my hair because that's what i literally live for not that like i live my life for my hair but like that's my favorite thing about my hair i could do my hair all day every day basically um, because I love the texture, I love the way it feels in my hands, I love the way it looks. Yeah, and that's why I'm obsessed with like um, neat ends, fresh cut. I just love working with that kind of hair. So that's the reason why I decided to cut my hair. I've blown out my hair, but before I did that, I... This is editing Jemima here. So I am just about to take you through my wash day, which happened on the... 24th of December 2023. I'm about to show you what I did and the product that I used. The last time that I washed my hair before this was October 2023 and I have a video of what I did during that period and how I kept my scalp clean and my hair moisturized. So when I finally did wash my hair I did an Ayurveda application which I showed in this video and after that I blew out my hair and I trimmed it on 29th of December because I was going away on the 30th of December and I didn't want to end or start the year with super damaged hair I wanted to feel a little bit happier about my hair situation so that's why I decided to cut my hair before the new year so that it's in a place where i am actually happy with so after the trim i show you how i wore my hair on <laughs> holiday in portugal with hobby with that being said let's get back into the video i am also going to put all the products that i mentioned in the in this video in the description box i clarified my hair with the dr bronner's Castile soap. So I used this as a clarifying shampoo because my hair was just full of gunk. I love this one because it has peppermint in it, so it's very minty. It's quite strong. Um, I have a lavender version that I use to wash my face. I use these for everything. You can even use it to wash dishes. Literally, my my favorite current thing. So I use the lavender one for my face because. I can use it around my eyes this one i cannot because the peppermint in it is just way too much for my eyes it just gets into my eyes so i washed my hair with this i loved it when it's in your hair you can move your hands through your hair freely whilst you're washing it but as soon as you rinse it out it gets that squeaky clean feeling so that's the only thing i don't like but i guess when you're clarifying your hair you have to expect to that so after that, I applied an Ayurveda gloss to my hair that I had made the previous week. Um, so that stayed in my hair overnight. It stayed in my hair overnight because I just didn't manage to get time to rinse it out. But when I did manage to rinse it out, I used this um, sweet ginger cleansing shampoo by Camille Rose. Literally the best shampoo ever. So moisturizing, yet cleansing, and it's also gives that tingling feeling on your scalp i thought i could just rinse the um the ivy the gloss out of my hair boy i needed more than that so that's why i went in 
with this and you've got most of it out and then after that i then followed up with this almond and avocado rinse out conditioner by design essentials these two products came from the treasure Tress box and you can use my discount code limitless bloom 25 to get 25 percent off your subscription if you're interested in joining treasure Tress. but the dr bronis i got with my own coins so now that my hair's washed to blow out and moisturize i moisturized with the imbue coal rejoicing leave-in conditioner i think this was the first time using this coal rejoicing leave-in conditioner and guys this is why it's important to read the product instructions what it is the descriptions and what it does i didn't know at the time that this is a curl defining cream it's great for like a soft hold for your twist out it's great as a primer before your um, wash and goes with gels and stuff so it was the worst product i could have used to moisturize my hair for a blowout and you will see in the rest of the video that i did struggle to comb through my hair because it made my hair feel a little bit sticky and i didn't find this out until i put my hair in twist and i um i damp my hair a little bit and my hair just started curling up and i was like huh so confused and then a few days later when i was actually away in portugal i twisted my hair again and that's when it all came back because i didn't use any more products i just took a tiny little oil with me i wet my hair put that oil on and my hair was defined and i said what is going on then it clicked and i looked up on the product and it's a curl primer it defines your curls the detangling is actually out of this world and once i found that out i needed about 10 bottles of this but thank god i am actually on a low by year so i ended up not buying it because i was able to talk myself out of it but yeah as soon as i run out i am getting like 10 bottles so that was just to to let you know about this product and how it was just the worst thing i could have used for blow drying but for anything else for your wash and go styling braid out twist out it's literally the best thing you can use chef's kiss this is also from the treasure Tress box and then i sealed with my diy ayurveda hair oil and then after that i went in with this afro g pro vitamin leave-in conditioner and it also doubles up as a heat protectant so it's very watery basically like water so i pour it into this spray bottle and sprayed it on my hair so when my hair dried the next day i then went ahead and blown out my hair but before i did that i added this um chi silk infusion to it before blow drying and i did that because i find that when i if i was to apply this again it just wets my hair and the process takes even longer than it needs to i'm gonna put all the products that i've used in the description box so now that we're all caught up about my wash day let's get into cutting this hair so i am going to follow the video that i followed the the last time by deeper than hair i'm just going to link the video in the description box if you want to have a look at that so this is my hair after blowing it out look at how soft and fluffy it is i truly truly love my hair and it's just so annoying that this has happened to it because i had almost reached like in some parts of my hair i've reached waist length so it's crazy that this happened i'm just gonna take everything out of the twists so this video was supposed to be a mini chop or a medium chop because i was actually sick and tired of this state of my hair but when i came to actually cut my hair and realized how much that needed to go obviously i always knew i had to cut a bit off but seeing it in real life and 
it just looked like my hair was going to be so short and for my level of shrinkage which is literally like 90 percent <laughs> it makes short hair makes hair care for me so much harder than just having longer hair and I know this because I've been natural for over 10 years and I can literally tell you the amount of times I've worn protective styles with extensions probably like five times in like 10 years so I know how my hair care is when my hair is short it's just a lot harder and I prefer when I have long hair because I could just put it up in a ponytail that's very important for me to be able to put my hair away in a ponytail and I think it's because I'm not very good at like flat twisting styles and um, cornrow styles as well so twist is really my go-to so if I can't put that twist in a bun or if I can't put my actual loose hair in a bun then I'm a bit stuck for what to do I wore afro puffs a lot and thankfully my hair still grew but now it's not something that I actually have the time to to manage as a mom of two so that's why this video even though it was supposed to be like a medium chop it ended up being another kind of like mini cut where I left a lot of the thin ends on so that I could continue to transition but I was able to actually get rid of everything the next time I cut my hair which is this year April so about four months later I was able to get rid of everything because my hair was actually got to a length that I could work with without feeling like I will, it would be too much work to care for my hair so that's the backstory of what you are about to see so no judgment we all do things differently and i'm happy i did it this way so after taking down all my twists following that video you start from the crown and sort of like the front part of your hair so a little bit of your crown and the the fringe part but what you do is you assess it to see how much of that hair needs to go this is about probably four inches of length that needs to go but i just trimmed about an inch i think so once you've trimmed the whole section you now separate that section into two so down the middle of your hair so you make a middle part and then you cut another section down down to the ears of your hair and add it to the front section that you just separated from your crown and then you will use that crown section that you cut as a guide to cut the the side of your hair So I'm just looking to check the ends and they still look quite raggedy but for what I was doing it was okay. The whole time you will see my face looking like uh, I could probably cut more but I was like I refuse to cut all this hair off and just be left with a tiny afro because I just, just so haven't been used to having short hair for so long. So this is the other side of my hair and I'm just repeating the same thing that I did on the right side.
so i was using this brush just to see if i can get the hairs a little bit straighter so i can really see what the hairs were looking like and cut what needed to go so now i am twisting the first the front side of my hair away now that i've i've cut them and i am going to start on the back of my hair and i love this process of cutting my hair it's so much easier and you get a really nice shape to your hair as well so i'm just checking the they're basically the same length so you part your hair down the middle at the back of your hair so down to your nape and then you're going to match this hair to the front part of your hair that you've just cut so the hairs that i've just twisted up i'm going to undo that once I bring half of my hair from the back down to the front so I can use the front pre-cut hair as a measure for the new cuts that I'm about to do. So I'm starting on the left hand side and I am just going to detangle that. And I'm just going to detangle that first. So I decided to cut it in two because the detangling was not working. So here I'm just showing you the hair that really needs to go versus what I'm really about to cut off. So here I have let down the hairs from the back and I have combined it with the hairs from the front that I cut previously and using that as a measure to cut the the hairs from the back so i love the shape that this gave me so my hair naturally grows in a v shape and that's because the hairs at my nape are very loose um, I don't even know what texture they are. I just know that they're very, very loose. So they, they're longer than, than the rest of my hair. So it gives me that V shape, which I love. So in order to get that, um, that sort of shape falling down, is it like a cascading shape so it's like shorter at the top and it's sort of like getting longer and slanted towards um the bottom towards your your chest i you're supposed to pull out the front hairs to the side and then the back hairs down because that's how they naturally lay and then cut it that way so the front hairs outwards and then the back hairs inwards and that's how you get that nice shape and all these tips i got it from deeper than hair i am not a hairdresser at all <laughs> so yeah the right hand side of my hair is definitely a lot longer than the left side for sure but yeah my hair still needed so much cutting but i got rid of all the damage that needed to go in order for me to still 
be able to look after my hair and to be happy with it at the time so yeah So here I decided to stretch out my hair a bit more so I can really see what's going on and the thin ends that were there. I was still looking at the ends. They felt, they still felt quite rough. So I only blow out one side. I didn't blow out the, the right hand side. So you will see that in a bit. So I just went in and just dusted my ends a little bit more. So this is the bit that I blew out again just to see the state of the hair but yeah that's the shape and i love it so i was really feeling my hair here <laughs> but i prefer the side that i didn't blow out again to be honest so here i'm going in to give my self a framing sort of fringe at the front which i love doing for my hair the only problem with this sort of cut is that it makes doing low low bonds a bit problematic because the hairs from the from the front are shorter so you sort of need a lot more gel so that's the only thing but i don't wear those styles very often but i will just wait till it's a lot longer to do that So I think I cut about two inches from the front. I don't know, <laughs> but it's definitely more than an inch. It looks like I cut more from the right hand side. I'm not sure whether it's because it's not stretched out as much as the hairs that I just cut from the left. Or it was less slanted. I think that's the problem. It was less slanted than the one I just cut from the left hand side of my hair. But when it shrinks, it looks fine. And I love it. So, And it will grow out anyway. So I don't have a problem with that. But yeah, I'm glad I didn't cut more than i needed to because thinking about it now this left hand side was a lot more stretched because i blew it out again so i'm glad i didn't like go in to cut it again to match this to match the right hand side that i didn't blow out so this is just a final comb combing out to to see the state of my hair and as you can see towards the crown there's a lot of hairs that need to go It was a lot more of a struggle to comb the right hand side of my hair because I hadn't stretched it again. <laughs> Gosh, this product that I put in my hair was really a mess. So if you're blowing out your hair, do not use that leave-in conditioner. But if you're styling your hair, definitely go for it. It's the best. I actually love it. Great definition and great um, slip for for detangling your type 4 hair so yeah definitely go for it so yeah this is my hair all done and I'm just sort of like really really loving the shape look at her <laughs> proper feeling herself but yeah, I really, really enjoyed um, this shape. If you can remember, in January 2023, I cut my hair and I really messed up the, the V shape of my hair. So I'm glad that I've got it back now.
so this is the back of my hair and as you can see my hair is as stiff as anything my goodness so uh, i just did a little stretch to show you the length of my hair and i think it was bra strap but now that i've cut all the damage off i am just above my bra strap so just above my bra strap so that's not too bad so after this i went ahead and put my hair in twists which you will see um, in a bit so here it is i just dump my hair added some oils and put my hair in twists I usually braid my hair at the roots because I have a lot of short hairs and that keeps those short hairs stretched so they don't tangle at the roots of my hair. So if you have a lot of short hairs at the roots, braid in probably an inch before you twist for your twist out is the best to keep the roots stretch and avoid tangles. So that's what I do and I've been doing that for years because I've always had a problem of mild breakage especially due to stress when I was in university so this is my technique that has been working for me and I also never used to separate my twists so when I do this you also get your twist in in three separated in three instead of two so you get more more definition and more volume without even separating so what i used to do is that i used to just separate my hair at the roots and then leave the hairs um, clumped at the at the tips of my hair and that also just made sure that i wasn't manipulating the ends of my hair too much and i did that for years and then i just stopped but i think i'm definitely going to go back to doing that just to preserve my ends a little bit more so this was just for the journey to the airport and once we got to portugal i had my hair like this for the day we got there and then i took them down the next day so i went ahead and put my hair in some twists i'm going away tomorrow so when we get there i'm gonna take these down into a twist out can you guys believe that i started doing my hair at one o'clock i cut it last i blew it out cut it and did twist and it's now eight o'clock and i'm yet to go to bed lord help me today with the kids <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in my next video thanks so the two videos that you're about to see are from day one of my twist out after we got to Portugal. And the second video in my robe was day two. And as you can see, there's a little bit more, more weight on my hair. So it shrunk during the first night when we went out for like new years and um, we were outside we're near the sea so i'm sure all that little bit of water came into my hair so it made it shrink and when my hair shrinks it has more body so that's what you see on day two and i love the body that it had i also retwisted before bed on day one so that retwisting gave me a little bit more length and then i retwisted before bed on day two to prepare for the flight back home so that's what you can see here and then i'm showing you a little bit of my airport fit as well i am absolutely obsessed with anything wrapped wrap top wrap dress i think they're such a classic piece to have in your wardrobe you can dress them down you can dress them up and you can have them forever they fit any body type 
but yeah <laughs> so that is day three and how i wore my hair on my three day holiday with hubby away <laughs> from the kids <laughs> and yeah i have been enjoying my hair ever since and i have since put a new routine in place to make sure i am preserving my ends i have made a new oil i have consistently stuck to a certain routine and so yeah if you want to see my length retention on crack <laughs> journey that I am on right now let me know and I will start putting some things together for you guys thank you so much for watching and following this journey I'd love to know if you are also growing out your hair or nursing your hair back to health and what products you're using and yeah thank you for watching as always and I shall see you in my next video Bye.